Hey everyone, FPS Chazler here. Welcome back to Let's Play Hail to the King Deathbed. So I don't think I whacked this switch last time, but I just whacked it. And one of these like angels like rose up this crystal thing, so that's like kind of hovering up. As you can see, others are like sunken in. Just not too sure what that did exactly. I don't think I can get over there yet. Doesn't look like it. Let's re recharge the old MP here. So it looks like all these worlds have a common theme of like two branches off and then heading that way. <clears throat> so let's just go down this way. Don't know if I was making my way down here last time or not. Hello. Ugh. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I just got back from New York. I was at my parents' place for Thanksgiving. That was pretty nice. That was pretty fun. Uh, I got some snow, but thankfully I like made it up before the snow hit. So like the East Coast, that snowstorm that came through on Wednesday. I had it up to I had a I went up there Tuesday night. I don't know what those magician guys do with the unholy ghosts. They haven't even tried to attack me yet. But yeah, I got up there before shit got real, man. These guys are really encroaching on my space here. Oh, and now that that, that thing like has direction to it, so it sends like a freaking hate beam <laughs> somewhere and just like kick some guy's ass. I don't know what these oh, they still whack me, they just gotta get really close. You'd think they'd be doing magic or something if they got like wands like that. But they have like those masks that like, they kind of look like those masks that people would wear during the bubonic plague. It was like bird things, bird masks that they would wear to like keep themselves from like getting the plague or whatever. But yeah, who knows. But yeah, so, I got up there before any of the snow hit, which was good in one regard, but I wanted to try these winter tires, man. I haven't had a chance to yet, I guess I'm just going to wait till it snows down here. Because like, it snowed that whole Wednesday I was up there, but... I don't know, my mom just didn't want me to go out in it, so I was just like, eh, whatever, I just won't then. Don't want to deal with it. She's like, does your car have enough clearance? I'm like, mom, there's like six inches of snow out there. <laughs> it's not that much. But, uh, it would have been cool to check that out. But, no matter. We'll get to it at some point. I'm sure we'll be getting snow this winter. Oops. Forgot to, uh, put my phone on silent. Let me just do that real quickly here. I don't know if that's going to come up. Probably will. I usually remember to put this thing on silent. Okay, that one's not really that hard to dodge. Let me see if I can't figure out a pattern to these things. Alright, this seems like this is more reasonable to dodge here than all that other crap. Oh, you're coming right for me. Oh, suck it. Suck magic. Yeah, that right-click magic thing there is really nice. I don't really have a topic to talk about for today. So maybe I'll just talk about what's coming up on Thursday. So... I'm not sure how many of you are aware of this, how many of you follow the space program or anything like that, but the space program is my utter favorite. I think I like it more than submarines. Um, just because it's purely all peaceful. I mean, the motives for it back, like the Apollo program back in the 60s and Mercury and Gemini, that was all like motivated by like the Cold War basically, but no uh, checkpoint. But I mean, still, it was all peaceful. There wasn't, <laughs> there weren't guns in space or anything like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, I don't know how many of you know this, but, like, NASA is finally about to have its own vehicle to get back into er into orbit again. Won't have to be relying on the Ruskies for, uh, transport. <laughs> I think that was in, a Star Talk Live with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think, um, was that Eugene Merman or Chuck Nice was like, if you went back in time and told Ronald Reagan that in 2011 we'd be hitching rides with Russians to the International Space Station, he'd shoot you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was very funny. What do we got over this way? But, uh, yeah, so, like, to deal with that... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Equip. Use. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, God, that was not... That was not very, uh... Fruitful there. Here, dear, just drink all that. Yeah, so I thought that was funny, but, yeah, so... America has developed a new Apollo-like capsule kind of thing. It's called um, Orion. And uh, <clears throat> the first test flight is Thursday, 0700 Eastern Standard Time. So I believe that would be 1200 Greenwich Mean, and then 0400 if you're on the West Coast or something. So thankfully, that's launching like right when I'm about to leave for work. Or, like, at least a half hour before I leave for work, so I'll be able to actually watch the launch and see it go downrange. And then the whole mission, like, takes place within four hours, and then it'll be splashing down around 1100. I'm assuming in the Pacific, like, 
all the Apollos were done, they all landed in the Pacific. They, nothing has landed in the Atlantic since like Gemini or Mercury. Oh god, oh god. It's axes. I don't even know where I'm going right now, but I guess that's the point of this. But yeah, I'm so freaking excited for that, man. I love the space program. Glad that we're getting our new deep space craft together. This thing's gonna be taking Americans to Mars, or to, uh, well yeah, Mars eventually, hopefully in the 2030s. America will be on Mars. Unless, of course, that is China decides to <laughs> install a military base on Mars before then. You can just bet your bottom dollar that America will, like, oh, this guy is shooting magic. Bet your bottom dollar that America would be there in, <laughs> in ten months. You know, one month to build a thing and then nine months to get there. So this is all really cool to be able to get back in space. Oh, boss time. <clears throat> Looks like they're always gonna do unholy confessions for the bosses or something. I was spawning scamps, gremlins as they're called, but I'm doing like hella damage now with this new sword. Oh, I, he hasn't, uh, freaking Antronicos hasn't said anything cool. Like, hail to me. <laughs> Love it when he says that, cause. Oh god. Oh, it's so. Oh, oh, he's, he's coming. He's coming right for me. Mmm. Bam. Oh god, it's going down. Here, I'm gonna give you this little shot of. I didn't really do too much. Alright, let me uh, make sure I don't die here. Oh god, 20 damage with one swipe. That is a good chunk of damage. Oh, I'm out of MP. I do have potions for that, but he's about dead anyway. See ya! Oh god, don't kill me. Don't kill me, bro. Man, I'm already out of these health potions. <laughs> yeah, this is getting tougher. Alright, so. Etafsio das Vidania. Where's the... Oh, I can go this way now. This is a very large level. I hate that I have to, like, break this up into frickin' episodes, because there's, like, no way to really come back on your checkpoint. If you, like, leave the game, you have to restart the whole level, which kind of blows. But it gives you more money! What's up, biatch? <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a piss! Oh my god, what is that thing? A scythe clone? Frickin'... Well, it looks like it has to get, like, within really close range for you to do any damage. That was scary as hell. Things fast as shit. Oh, shush, dog. Well, it looks like those things are starting to drop health now and stuff. Oh god, I'm running around you. Oh god, there's dead people everywhere. This is very graphic. I should probably take one of these health po or magic potions I have. Might be a good idea. But yeah, this world has to be like at least twice as large as the last one. Man, this thing is huge. Oh, they're like grind. Oh god, this is very graphic. <laughs> this game is already what T for teen. Uh, maybe I'll have an episode on the uh, talk about ratings in this country. But that's just fucked up too. Uh, what's down here? But yeah, very excited for this launch on Thursday, ushering in a new era of space travel for the United States. There has not been a craft launched by the United States that has left low Earth orbit, well at least a, a craft that's meant to take humans has not left low Earth orbit in like 40 years or something. Like ever since the last Apollo mission, like after that you had like Skylab and that was pretty much the end of it for humans going into deep space, if you consider going between here and the moon deep space beneath low Earth orbit. I think it's gonna uh, get above like the geosync orbit too where all the communication satellites are and stuff, GPS satellites. So I gotta come all the way over here to like, wow, this is a very long level. Well, thankfully I can get like all this crap and then head back that way. And that'll still all be like taken care of the next time I come through here. Oh, who are you? Feeling okay there, feller? You're not looking so grand. Might want to take yourself a rest. Looking like you might fall over all skin and bones like that. Hey, who you calling skin and bones, man? I'm pretty ripped. What's that, you say? You're headed for the church, eh? Sounds like a rotten idea. <laughs> but why listen to me? I'm only a lowly grave digger. Just trying to get by in these draft times. I may not know much, but I know enough. I know you'll want to kill the leader in that church. Only way those upright courses will be going on go on being real dead. If I were you, I might check out those crystals in the front of the graveyard. Could be of some help. That's just me. Lowly grave digger. No one listens to me. Yeah, you're right, no one does listen to you. <laughs> Huh. Oh god, I have to come back this way after I get a key. A key? Uh, let's see, what's over this way with the frickin'... These things are on like a... A two... Two-timer 
kind of thing there. All right, cool. Is there a key over here, or is this like a death bat thing? Here, give me the health. Spank you very much. Got the first bonus, cool. If that was the second one, I would've been like, where's the other one? So that's good. All right, oh God, this is all very confusing. I have no idea where I've been. A map would be nice, but I don't think there's such a thing. I already whacked that switch. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, in addition to the Orion, there's been a new, you know, like deep space rocket developed too, called the SLS. Not as big as the Saturn V, but it has two solid rocket booters, boosters strapped to it, so it doesn't need to be as big as the Saturn V. Those solid rocket boosters will uh, help, help you get further along there. Cause I uh, just got some more more fuel strapped on there than you normally would have. So uh, I think the configuration of the first. SLS. There's two configurations. There's like a normal one and then like a deep space kind of one. The first one has like the same payload capacity to low Earth orbit as Saturn V did. But uh, the new one will have like 90 kilotons or something. And it has more thrust than Saturn V as well. But uh, yeah, it's cool, man. I think that thing, they said it's going to be ready for launch. Oh, I got the key now. It's going to be ready for launch by uh, 2018. Oh, I don't have any health potions. <laughs> This is not where I want to be either. So I'm definitely going to have to try and get my ass down to uh, Florida to see that thing launch at some point. Because I, whenever I watch videos of a Saturn V launching, I just wish I could see that. I just wish I could go back in time to see a Saturn V launch, because that's got to be just incredible. Until this SLS launches, the Saturn V is still the most powerful machine ever devised by man. Whoa, what is that? Was that a Sarlacc? Oh god. Get out of the way. Okay, these guys gotta kick my ass. Oh shit. Yeah, you hit me there. Uh, I got the little glim, but it's, uh, I need to take one of these. Use. I need the health. I'm staying away from those oh, circle pits of doom. Oh god. Man, this game is starting to get kind of tough here, dude. <laughs> it's kind of nuts how tough this game is starting to get. Oh, They just grabbed me from the ground there or whatever. Yeah, I was wondering when these, like, on Holy Ghost were gonna start launching magic at my ass here. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, that, those things don't really do too much damage to you. I don't think you can kill them, though. Give me all your money! Yeah, I'm gonna try to do my best to keep these episodes to 15 minutes. They don't need to be too terribly long. Oh, fuck off. I guess I can't do any damage to them. Is that, like, all I came down here for? Is this? There's, like, nothing else? Okay, I was gonna say, there's gotta be something this way. Man, I'm really not doing so hot with all these frickin'... This crap. I need to make sure I remember not to press escape when I'm leaving the game here. Because <laughs> that'll just, like, negate all I've done. Actually, I think it already saves it, but I still just gotta start at the beginning of the level no matter what. Just wanna try and... Oh, another boss fight here. Oh, you're spawning frickin' little minions here. Oh, shit. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh, Luchos, Damage, Jos, whatever. Oh, there's a Glim over there, Health Glim. Don't run right into the beam. Don't be that dumb. Can he, like, do friendly fire? Okay, so he's just gonna summon those two. Okay, then I'm going after him here. The Pope! <laughs> oh, the Pope. Are you the Pope? Yes. You look like Freddie Mercury's stunt double. Very good. Where's my reward? Where's my reward for killing this motherfucker? Okay, I guess I'm my, my... Oh, I'm right back here at the middle. Oh, at the leech now. Perfect place to stop. So I guess I gotta raise all these crystals up so I think I can... Didn't I start off going to the... Right? Eh. Alright, well. We shall have to figure this out next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys later. And I'm FPS Chasley, signing out. Peace.